the one and only altcoin one inch which was bought by thousands of people here around the top and believe that they will make so much profit from it because the social media and everybody was telling them to buy is right now from the all-time high which is at around seven dollars down 92 percent is this the instant buying opportunity or are we going even lower you will get to know in this video with the highest probability what is going to happen next with this DeFi altcoin. So sit back, relax and let's get into it. First of all, let's just a quick shout out to our Paradise Family VIPs because this morning we have made 59% profit from a coin which is called Like slash USDT. You can see we have been holding it for three days, nine hours, 35 minutes before we hit the last sell target. You can see we have been buying here at 0.01 here we always use only one entry price we have been accumulating nearly hit stop loss but because we always calculate our stop loss based on only the strongest fibonacci levels we went very safely through this accumulation and then we have started to pump and you can see this very nice pattern it's basically a parabolic movement with creating a pull flex after pull flex and then we hit the last sell target 59 percent profit shout out to our VIPs and now I will show you why that happened. As you can see Bitcoin dominance on free daily time frame is basically switching the strong support zone right now into a resistance and what is happening on lower time frame we need to switch to four hour to understand what is going on and because we are here near the 0.618 fibonacci strong uh, resistance zone previous support some of the coins the whales are starting to pump some altcoins and because they are watching this resistance line on Bitcoin dominance, they understand that sooner or later we get rejected from here as well and we will go down to the nearest support which we can understand this trend line to act as a support. So basically what the price action in our opinion is gonna look like is something like this right now we will get rejected from this uh, upper trend line resistance zone we will move down and then we will continue in the sideway action before we suddenly break down below this trend line we don't think the bitcoin dominance is going to in the near future break through this 42 percent resistance zone because altcoins are having so good marketing right now more people are actually interested instead of bitcoin invest straightly to their favorite altcoin that's why the middle boy bitcoin is being cut off we don't think that bitcoin is going to be losing power because of that but we think that bitcoin dominance in the long term will be losing their cup in the crypto market as we are increasing the total market cap it will not hurt the bitcoin price which will be of course slowly but surely with a high volatility movements going still up right but the more money coming in the less it's gonna hurt that the bitcoin dominance will start losing strength and right now let's get back to one inch coin so you can see that we zoomed in right now we are on four hour time frame but I will put it back on free daily time frame so we can see what is happening on the high time frame right now. It's always the best idea to when the market is volatile and you can see that pretty much the last couple of weeks are ve being very volatile. So when the market is volatile, it's not good to scalp. It's not good to day trade. It's better to zoom out right and take a look at the bigger picture if you want to be a successful investor. So right now, what we need to understand is the major thing what's happening on the higher time frame so if you want to day trade or swing trade you first need to look at the higher time frame then you can put uh, the higher time frame once you understand the higher time frame structure you can go lower and lower and then even in a high volatile market which is not recommended because of the wicks and you can basically 
get stopped very easily, but you can trade much more successful because when you understand, okay, the trend right now is, is bearish, right? So you will not be opening uh, long position. You will be looking at lower time frames for short positions. But at the moment right now, when we are very near uh, to the bottom, you need to start switching your bias, right? So from shorts, you start to look at longs. So you need to be very careful what is ho happening in the higher time frame to be able to successfully trade on the lower time frames as well. So right now, if we zoom in, we can basically see that uh, one inch is uh, respecting the support lower trend line, right? So if we basically copy past this and we put the symmetrical trend line here to the top, to this week, we can see that basically one inch and if we open uh, to RSI and if we take a look at the RSI which just appeared here we can see that we are clearly oversold on the medium time frame so what should happen right now we should start to see some buying volume right on the medium time frame we should revisit this trend line upper trend line which will work as a resistance around here around this level right here so we can anticipate that the the local high will be revisited and from there we will start moving to the support zone again right but where this gonna end for this we know that we are on the higher time frame we are at all time lows basically right so we need to understand where it's gonna stop so for that if we want to be accumulating this coin successfully, we need to check the Fibonacci level. So basically, we will put one uh, to the local lows, one to the local highs, and the important level which interests us right now uh, is not the 0 0.618 or 786 because we already lost, lost these levels, right? We will be retesting uh, the 0 0.786 as a resistance. We will drop from there and we will look uh, to revisit the Fibonacci level 1.272 which will align with our trend line. So it will be around 0 0.06 and this uh, will be our buy zone basically. So around this level is the best idea to accumulate one inch and we will be doing exactly that. DCI is basically in this kind of market the absolute must, right? But if you if you take a look at the higher time frame, if we zoom out again, it's gonna be below the previous low. It will liquidate a lot of longs, most of the longs basically. So everybody will think, okay, this coin is going to absolutely nowhere. Everybody is gonna sell. And this is the time when you should be accumulating. And we will be accumulating. We will be doing exactly that because from here, we are looking for some sideways action and then finally, break to the upside and we will be revisiting in our opinion the previous all-time high all right ladies and gentlemen this was simon from paradise team if you want to be successful in day trading definitely go to the description visit our free telegram channels you will learn a lot trust me and if you are ready to start trading like a pro join our paradise family vip i will see you in the paradise family vip we are looking to teach you the things nobody else is watching with our paradise team and i will see you in the next video take it easy and smooth ladies and gentlemen this was someone from my crypto paradise bye bye